Okay, so this device that I have in front of me is called the Knee Flow Massager. I bought this recently on Indiegogo for a super early bird price of $115, but when it does go live in the public retail release, it will cost around $249, and today I thought why not just showcase and review it for you and see how well this works and what I think of it. This is going to be great for those types of people that are either athletes, you go to the gym quite a lot, or you're just elderly and you do get a lot of knee pain, whether that's through injuries or just general working out quite often, or even osteoarthritis. This is going to help just maybe alleviate or manage a little bit of the pain, and by no means is this something that is going to treat all of your problems. As a disclaimer, I want to mention this is not a medical device and I'm not providing any medical advice that this is going to give you complete eradication of all of your pain or injuries that you have. You always need to consult with your doctor or physician to make sure something like this is suitable for you. Having said that, I do play a lot of football and I do go to the gym quite often and from time to time I used to suffer from patella tendonitis, so I used to get a lot of pain in my knees. And for me, having some deep tissue sports massages always used to help alleviate that pain, not necessarily cure it, but something like this is quite convenient to have around the house anyway, if you just need that little extra massage just to help manage your pain a little bit. So let me go ahead and show you the design of this, how it works. And I know there's a lot of products that look like this on Amazon that are a lot cheaper. I don't and can't speak for the quality of them but there's been a lot of positive reviews that I've seen so far online for the knee flow massager, and I'm gonna be testing that out. So let me go ahead and start with the design, how to turn it on, how it works, and then I'll just showcase me using it and give you my honest review. Okay, so at a distance, this does look kind of like a helmet, but it has quite a nice design that fits comfortably in knees of all different shapes and sizes, because this does expand with the cushions inside to compress against your knee when it does the massage movements. So you have a very large digital display just there on the top. So to turn it on, and this is wireless, battery powered, and you can't use this for more than 15 minutes at a time and you will see a timer. You do press the power button once, it lights blue, then you hold it down and it turns on and it will start working straight away. So on the digital display, you can see you've got the timer there at the top, 15 minutes max. After that, it will turn off. You've got the battery life there. Then you've got some information about the hot compress, the red light, the netting and the vibration. You can see that this is working. You can adjust the mode, the temperature and the pressure manually. So if you go to mode, it goes from recovery to repair mode to relaxation mode, and then it goes backwards. Temperature, you got medium, high, and then you also have low. So I'll leave that on for medium for now. And then pressure, you can go to high, medium and weak. So those are all of the options, they're very easy to use. So inside, you'll see, you have the red lights for the heat sensors, for the temperature and the infrared. This is going to target your knee directly and help with relaxing the muscles around the knee joints. Then you can see here the cushions, they expand and they'll compress against your knee. And every 10, 15 seconds, it's like the air goes out of it and it softens and you'll notice that they come back in and tighten around your knees and this happens from the front and the sides and the back of the knee joints as well. As you select the higher pressure, this will compress even further in to make it tighter around your knees. So whatever adjustment you need, you can just do that and then you get some nice heat coming directly from there. You also have the Velcro strap to then just connect this to tighten it up to your knee. To turn it off before it ends, just hold down the power button for about five, six seconds and it turns off. In the box to charge it up, you get a USB cable, which is powered by a DC input. And that is just there on the right hand side. And you cannot use this whilst it's charging. You can only use it on its wireless capability, just so that it doesn't prevent overheating and overuse. It also comes with a small user manual just to get you up and running and give you some information about the device. So very simple, let's go ahead and try it out for myself. Okay, now I've just strapped this onto my knee. Let's turn it on. So I've set it to medium, medium and recovery. So I actually just came back from the gym. So I think recovery mode is pretty good. Now each of these different modes will make the cushions inside work at different pressures, different intervals, just to help you either recover 
repair or relax. But for me personally, no matter which mode that I use it on, I feel like they're all essentially just doing the same thing. But of course, all of these four different points here, hot compress, red light, netting and vibration, these will all do different things as well, depending on the mode. So for recovery, for example, I may not get the red light. So in fact, if I do repair, the red light will be on. And one thing I have noticed, it does take a few minutes for me to start feeling the heat by the temperature. So I'm going to go into high. And this is actually feeling very nice. So I can either leave my foot on the floor or I can have my leg elevated. Both do a good job either way. And if you decide you want to finish using this before the timer is up, you literally just hold down the power button for about five, six seconds and it will turn off. And then it's easy to just take off. And then I do recommend if the battery is getting low, just put it on charge. Okay, so my final thoughts. This is a very nice device and I did find a bit of comfort in using this, especially if you just use it for the entire 15 minutes, you feel a little bit more relaxed and you feel like you can walk a little bit more freely. It does take a few minutes for the heat to actually start working and then you start feeling it. Ideally, it's better to use it on bare skin. So if you wear some shorts, it will target that directly and you might feel it warm up a little bit quicker. But if you wear gym tights like I was wearing in today's example, then it's absolutely fine. Technically, you can wear this on top of your existing clothes, so whether you wear jeans or trousers, then it should still work, but you might not feel a lot of the heat and the infrared so much, then they do recommend that you just have it on bare skin just to get that full targeting for the deep tissue massage. Overall, for the $115 that I've paid for it as the super early bird pricing, I think that's really good value for money. I think $249 for the full retail price might be a little bit too excessive because I predict a lot of customers will go onto Amazon, search for knee massages that look like this, and they can actually find some that are around the $90 mark very easily. So it depends on the capabilities and the features and the battery life. You know, all of these things are taken into consideration when you are going to purchase this. But for me overall, I'm very happy with the knee flow massager. If there's anything else you want to know about this device, then as always, drop a comment down below. If you found this video useful, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all at the next one. Take care.